Oh, yeah, that was a good night's sleep. Hey, I, what are my notifications for the day? You've officially placed last in your fantasy football league and therefore must post that you are an apricot-loving boy on Facebook with the most embarrassing photo of yourself. Oh, man, I knew I shouldn't have drafted the kicker in the first round. Uh-huh, you lose. Ha-ha. Uh -huh. Football season is upon us again, and with that, we also get fantasy football. Now, these punishments are reserved for the person who gets last place in any fantasy football league. And some of these can get really insane, like giving the last place person a one-way ticket to a random spot in the country and they have to make their way back on their own. That seems a little bit dangerous, don't you think? I thought the biggest punishment was just your friends knowing that you were horrible at fantasy football. Now the first layer of punishments is level one. These punishments are basically getting a flag that says I suck at fantasy football and having to take a picture with it or having to wear something that says I suck at fantasy football. <laughs> I gotta say, I don't think I'd pull off that onesie at all. Punishments in level one are fun, they're simple, and nobody's gonna get hurt or throw up or anything like that. You get a little embarrassed, you take it on the chin, and you move on to the next year hoping that maybe you'll not get last place. Now level two in fantasy football punishments are the kind of punishments where you might get a little bit sick, you might not enjoy the punishment very much. Now some of these challenges that I've seen are things like the gallon milk challenge, where the challenge is only over if you've drank the whole gallon of milk or if you've thrown up. Or this one's my favorite favorite, having to go to Waffle House for 24 hours and every waffle you eat takes off one hour of the time you have to stay at the Waffle House. So we take you over to the Waffle House on College Road in Wilmington where Justin will be th spending a lot of his time. In fact, he'll be spending 24 hours starting from 7 p.m. this evening to 7 p.m. tomorrow. That was the terms of his fantasy football league for the loser of the season. I think I could eat 24 waffles in at least two to three hours. I mean, I wouldn't feel good afterwards, but I would at least be able to do it. Or on the bright side, you'll get to know the fine people at the Waffle House near you really well. Level 2 challenges can also head into embarrassing territories, like having to get a tattoo of the other person's choice on any part of your body. Now, I don't know about you, but getting a permanent mark on my entire body over fantasy football is a giant no from me. I prefer things a little bit more temporary, you know what I mean? But the people in your fantasy football league might want to take it up a notch. You may be forced to attend a walk-on tryout and go through the entire process of a walk-on tryout for any professional team, and I mean, I played t-ball in fourth grade, but having to attend a walk-on for any professional baseball team would be the most embarrassing thing I think I could do. But I still think this is level two in difficulty. Now we're getting into the level three punishments for fantasy football. This is the top tier of punishments. These are the types of punishments that make you hate your life, make you question why you ever joined the fantasy league in the first place, are brutally embarrassing, or in my opinion, can be kind of dangerous. And one of my favorites that I've seen during the research of making this video is taking a blow-up doll to a dinner date and then talking to the blow-up doll as if she is a real person. <laughs> so and you have to do that for the entire dinner. This has just been a lovely night. I didn't expect this to go so well. There's something just so attractive about you. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, was that too forward? You're right, that was a little bit too much. Should I leave? Take that as a yes. Have a nice life, Barbara. Three hours later. Who do I have to sweet talk to get a drink over here? Can't even get a second date with a blow up doll. Even the thought of this one right now is making me cringe internally. Like, I've done some weird things in my life, but I've never taken a blow up doll on a dinner date. Even if you tell the waiter or waitress that is serving you, hey, I lost my fantasy league and I have to do this right now. There's a 50 50 chance your waiter or waitress doesn't do fantasy football, so they won't understand what you're talking about. And even if they do understand fantasy football, they're still going to laugh their butts off at you and they're gonna tell all the cooks, all the managers, and everyone in the restaurant's gonna be looking at you as well. But here's the two biggest ones. Here's the two most dangerous ones that I have seen on this entire list. The one I think is the craziest is the one where you have to fly the loser of your fantasy league to a random spot in the country and they have to find their way back. No money, they can't just turn around and buy a plane ticket back. They have to figure out how to get back on their own. This guy here is named Collins Moe and he recently lost his fantasy football league. His league's annual punishment for dead last place is to be sent somewhere random. Collins and his friends live in South Carolina, so usually the punishment ends up being somewhere cold. So Collins ends up in Fargo, North Dakota. When the locals found out why the heck Collins was visiting North Dakota in the middle of February from South Carolina of all places, they welcomed him with open arms. Mo became a legend for that weekend. That sounds like Ryan Trahan's next video series, but at the same time, it does not sound like something I want to do. And I mean, like, what if you have, like, a job or responsibilities that you have to go back to? Like, you can't just, like, fly 
to South Dakota or New Mexico and then find your way back home easily. This seems like more of one that you would do in college in like a fraternity. A really messed up fraternity, that's for sure. You don't want to go through any of these punishments. And if you're in any of the fantasy leagues doing any of these punishments, just realize you could be the guy who has to do the punishment. So when you're thinking about what to vote on, keep that in mind. And please try to be nice to each other this football season. Just make your friend down 24 waffles and call it good. Let me know what the fantasy football punishment is for your league in the comments below. Also, be sure to hit that subscribe button and enjoy this fantasy football season, everybody. Other than that, this is Ryan Askew reminding you to stay askew because being normal is weird and being weird is kind of cool. I'll see you guys again in a few days with my next video, but until then, all I have to say is hit that subscribe button and bye-bye.